Which cake wanted to rule the world? Attila the bun. <laughs> my heart pounding in my chest took a deep breath and told the joke. And it was pretty awful, but also pretty good. Alright, let's go. Spelunky 2. Let's see what we can do. I uh, need to edit the stream info, though. Because that needs changing. I'm wondering if it will do it through the window here. If it will not, then. Which I don't think it will, because there's not a save button. So I might have to just... Do this the old-fashioned way and go right on over to Twitch itself. It still says I'm streaming Layers of Fear, which is not right. Edit stream info. Title. There we go. We can do it. Putting both of those in. Done. And then hopefully... That should update itself. If it doesn't update itself, then a quick refresh should figure things out. Morgan hath arrived if. Good evening, Morgan. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing alright. You just missed the Layers of Fear inheritance stream, unfortunately. It didn't take as long as I thought. And so seeing as how I've still got an hour and a half, I figured we'd do something nice and simple chilled out, stress-free, in theory, and try and make a success of ourselves in Spelunky. Because I have not actually won a single round of Spelunky yet. The game's been out for a little while now, and I have not won once. <laughs> not even come close to winning. It's terrible. Gonna lurk while I make food? Thank you, Rich. Thank you very much for the lurk. Have I tried out Phasmophobia yet? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, oh, the, the pug's gonna die if I put him there. Uh, I have not tried fan Phasmophobia. I can, I can barely say it. <laughs> uh, I'm not 100% sure what it's about, actually. So, uh, any any info on, uh, on cluing me in on that would be very, very much appreciated. Is it like a... Uh, I don't know. I feel like a Ghostbusters type game. Um, but also like a who done it? I, I I don't really know. I don't really know. I can't even pretend to know. <laughs> Not bad. Planning out streams. Hopefully doing one tonight. Oh, uh, definitely let me know for sure if you do. I'll uh, gladly drop by. We'll bring everyone else in too. If everything all lines up nicely. Such is, such is the freedom now of bars being shut once again it's the uh perfect time to get back into it it's exactly what i'm planning on doing now i'm unable to work just gonna be pumping all my spare time into doing this uh a ghost hunting game oh, okay awesome because i've seen I've got, is it similar to among us i guess but spooky <laughs> Is that, is that a fair assumption? I don't really know. I mean, I've not played any Among Us either. Um, but it would maybe be something I would play potentially, maybe no promises. Depending on how people feel about it. I gather it's pretty hip and happening right now. Which is normally a bad sign for me. I'm not normally down with the kids and playing the hip and happening stuff because... I mean, you might even be able to tell from that because I'm still using the words hip and happening, which haven't been hip and happening for a very long time. Just think of old school shows like, oh, like Most Haunted. Oh, that was a that was a TV show. I feel like if I played Phasmophobia, I'd be spending the entirety of the stream doing Derek Akora impressions. Not that I can 100% remember what Derek Akora actually sounds like. I think he died. Didn't Derek Akora die? I think... I can't remember what his accent was. Is he northern? Is that, oh, she's coming through now. She's coming through. Oh, I don't feel like that was right. Oh, the skeleton came to life. Of course it did. Oh, 
That's a Kali statue. Oh, they punched me! Oh, I was watching chat. Too bad. Too bad. That was that was destined to happen. Everyone, you gotta have you gotta have a uh, you gotta have a warm up run. That one, the, the the first one never counts. First one never counts. And get back into it and get my arms back up onto it. Exactly. Exactly. I've got nothing to do for a month, at least, except except Twitch. So that's what's going. That's what it's gonna be. He did die. He he had his spirit. He spoke to Sam. <laughs> Oh, Sam's coming through now. Sam is saying, leave this place because it's really haunted. I think we should probably go. Something like that. I, don't, I can't remember Derek Akora's voice. Could go look it up. There's got to be a... Uh... Right, here we go. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's just try and get a vague interpretation of Derek Akora's voice. Oh, I've already searched for Derek Akora, apparently. <laughs> I just want just want to snip it. Oh, no ads though. I don't endorse this product. It's fine. Muted it in time. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here he is. I worked at Granada when I had an audience. It's like a Scouse. He's like a Liverpudlian. I can hear my my spirit, Sam. She's coming through now, and uh, yeah, she's saying that this is haunted and that we should all go. Something like that. Look, I, look, it ain't brilliant, but it's all right for for. Throwing it together in two minutes. <laughs> I've got a great memory for all that kind of rubbish, Steve. Like, oh, any any stupid facts you want to remember, let me know. I'm sure I'll keep it stored away somewhere. Great, great in a pub quiz. Question number four. What was the name of the TV medium most associated with most haunted? Derek Akora. 100% Derek Akora. Oh, that's too far away. You go there. Hey, the compass. Not bad. <laughs> oh, Morgan cheered 100 bits. Thank you so very much, Morgan. Don't feel like the impression was worth that, but I appreciate it all the same. Thank you so much. <laughs> you can do so many better, so many that are better than that. Who was? What was the woman? Was it? She was. She, uh, it was a. Uh, it was Yvette, wasn't it? Yvette Fielding was her name. What do you reckon? Most Haunted as a TV show? Set up or nah? And I guess the, the deeper question is Afterlife or nah? <laughs> but uh, we can uh, we can come back to that one later date. And, uh, happy to go with the Was Most Haunted uh, staged or do we reckon they were legitimately haunted places? Memory on you? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> set up i i believe it to be as well but i i i consider myself very very skeptical of more or less anything and everything like i happy to be proven wrong though like don't get me wrong if uh if you can i'm happy to be proven wrong with scientific proof proof that i can see and touch and hold in front of me Not too interested in ah well people say it's like yeah, 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 yeah people say a lot of things show it to me you know if people want to believe in ghosts I'm happy for people to believe in ghosts that's your prerogative I do not but that's only because I've not had any sort of paranormal experience that would make me believe so. 
so uh, not too uh, not too interested in it. But like I say, I'm happy to be proven wrong if someone can show me and in encourage a supernatural experience to happen in front of me, and I'll be like, oh damn, they are real. Any other famous ghost hunters? That's a that's a fair point. I don't think there were any others other than Yvette Fielding. And even then, I don't know if she was the ghost hunter or just the like the the TV presenter. You know, she was presenting the show, and then you had the quote unquote experts like Derek Acora. Now I've got loads of money here. You've got to buy a bomb box. No, watch out, chinchilla. Oh, there's loads of fireworks going off again. Remember, remember, the 6th of November, the day after the gunpowder treason and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot for the entire freaking month. I have, hence my belief, but I think the shows are... Yeah. Well, the... Obviously, the thing to really consider about TV is that it is designed for an audience. So, even if it's even if it is legitimate, anything that's being performed is a show and is therefore and therefore its credibility is suspect because the nature of something being performed is that it's then analysed a little bit afterwards, I guess. We're getting a little bit into performance theory now, which I haven't really had to look at since my university dissertations, but <laughs> like it's it's interesting. It's the same thing for kind of like uh, televangelism and stuff like that. You know, when you get the uh, the Americans, the American like priests and stuff, and they go on TV, and they have the auditoriums full of people all cheering about the fact that they believe. And I know you believe, and you believe with all your heart and your soul, and you make sure that you don't ever forget who's the man who keeps you riding high in this life. You are getting a man. Those guys. Like, again, it's all for the show. Really? And, you know, I am I a believer? No. But then I saw her face, and no, nah, I'm not. I'm not a believer in any of that. But like, even if I was, there's surely got to be something to be said for the fact that you have an audience and are therefore performing. Some of the whole stuff at uni was like, what makes a performance? You know, is it the fact that there is an audience watching you, or is it the fact that you are on a stage, like? what is a performance and all that kind of like really arty farty nerdy stuff that realistically no one can oh yeah my bombs are big now because of the power pack I forgot no the freaking pot broke damn we've got to go now I already saw someone's garden full of Christmas lights excuse me the more I look at our government, the more I understand Guy Fawkes. Yeah, he was uh, he was ahead of his time, I reckon. In some ways, they also have a really expensive suit. Oh, the tel televangelists. Yeah, why have I still got the key? I can't unlock anything with that now. They do. You see them like there's there's one a really well known one who like ah oh, get off. Oh, I'm doing so badly. There's a really well known one who's got like a private jet that he used donations to his uh congregation he used that he used the congregation's donations to buy a private jet for himself because he, he he basically said because god told me to buy a jet so that i could do his work and spread his word a lot more effectively than i have been able to so far or some other nonsense like that I was like, really? It's, and that seems a little bit shady. <laughs> Just a smidgen. Come on, Spine Shank, do your worst. Surprised no one in 2020 has tried again. So the, the ultimate conspiracy theory is that that's why the lockdown 
the new lockdown started on the 4th of November was so that no one was allowed to leave their houses on the 5th to go and blow up Parliament. <laughs> that's the that's the true conspiracy theory that I've heard going. Not true, but that's the big conspiracy theory that I've heard being bandied about during current times. Oh no, he popped out early. It's okay, I think we got enough treasure from this part now. We can just move onwards. My big concern is health. Oh, look at all the beetles. Yes, please. Take all of their cash monies. Oh, the... I definitely didn't mean to do that. Ruby, though. Thank you. There's still time. Don't give me hope. <laughs> no. Leave me alone, Falbat. I can't afford to take one more hit of damage. Otherwise, the end has already come. And I know I said the first run never counts, but I don't know if I can blag the second round not counting as well. <laughs> Alright, good. We get a bit of extra health from the pup. Now the problem is, because we had to exit that other level early, we do not have the Uje Eye, which will not tell us where the black market is. However, that's not necessarily too much of a hindrance, because we have got the compass which will tell us that there is a second exit that we can find. So then if we know we need to look for the black market based on the compass sign, then we can spend a bit of time. We've got some bombs to do it and the power pack makes them bigger as well, so everything should be fine. And we should maybe be able to just luck out and find the black market. Let's get him down there. Chinchilla is definitely worth saving because we can. And we do definitely need the health. Okay. Satisfied that we've explored this level as well as we will be able to. The spider right there could be useful. We get some bomb paste off of him. That'll give us sticky bombs going forward. Nice. Not too bothered about him. Ooh, easy. And then we got, a, we got ourselves a weapon. Weapons are always useful. The moon challenge. Let's see if we can get some extra treasures. Ah, there's someone we need to save as well, hopefully at some point. Now I think the main objective of this is just to dig and find treasure. As long as we make back 10,000, it's been a victory. It's looking a little bit slim at the moment. Um, not going to be able to make it back out of here without a rope. I'm just going to get right the way out of there because that's the scorpions are dangerous, dangerous foes. If they get us, they poison us and then that could very well be the end of our run right there. More bombs. I'm liking the bombs. Bombs are probably the most useful resource. I didn't see how much money we had when we came in, so I don't know how well we're doing. I'm going to assume not particularly well, because we're unable to see gems hidden in the walls and stuff. It doesn't matter, we're done now. I think we made a bit of profit. Probably not much, though. Congratulations! Thank you very much. Now, in order to get to the... the bush baby that was hidden away, I need to bomb through her wall, which she's not going to like. So if we can find a better way of doing that, then I'll gladly accept. I am hopeful. 
that. Oh, let go of me. Whew. That could have been very, very dangerous. But we risked it and we managed it. So I'm reckoning if I can maybe get a bomb right in that corner there. That looks good. That will allow us to get up. There we are. We're there. We're done. Morgan, I went on Netrog today and forgot what I was doing. That has been a long time since I've been on and I can't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> we rescued her. In theory. Yeah, I can't remember what I've been up to on that world. It's... I know vaguely where I am, but it's been such a long time since I've been... Since I've been on. I can't remember where I am with projects and stuff. And also I think, you know, like... New update at some point. Well, not soon. It's a long way off. But I don't know if I can commit to all the projects and stuff. That I, I mean, I should do. I should do. It's been a while. But I also... I, it always happens to me whenever I'm playing Minecraft. Is it gets to a point where I kind of... I don't... I, I kind of lose motivation... <laughs> That's another bush baby rescued. Yeah, I kind of lose motivation. I'm like, right, I'm ready for the next heap of features to be introduced now. So that is a really cruel place to put a man trap. Like, will the boomerang set it off? Yes, it does. Thank you. It destroyed the boomerang. But we can pass safely. That's good. But yeah, i kind of gotten to a point where I'm ready for the next heap of features now. Show me what's going on. Oh, don't... I don't want to go that way. That way is very dangerous. Mind you, the witch doctor there doesn't make it any safer. We've still got the guardian farm to finish. Oh my goodness me. Oh no, he's got me. Oh, now I'm going to get cursed. No! Oh, and then I broke the ghost pot as well. This floor just went from bad to worse. So, curse immediately reduces your health to 1 HP... And you have no way of being able to recover health. This is also the black market floor as well. Oh no, this is a disaster. This has gone so badly now. So we're now on one health. One health with no way of recovering more. Until we cure ourselves of the curse. Which we can only do by pledging a sacrifice to Kali. So we're... To the best of my knowledge at least. So... Things are not looking good for us right now. Not at all. But hopefully with some hidden... Yay! We rescued the third bush baby. I don't know if they have te if they have an actual name. I know the characters have actual names, but I don't know if... the uh, Them as a collective have a name. In-game, their, their names are Parsnip, Parsley and Parmesan. But I, I like referring to them all as a collective. There's virtually next to no point in us rescuing our dearly beloved cat here. Because we can't recover the health. All we're hoping for is that there's a statue to pledge our allegiance to. But that doesn't appear to exist either. That monkey was stupid. <laughs> oh, this has gone from bad to worse. Bad to worse! Would you want to play No Man's Sky sometime? Oh, we're on Olmec already! Nice. Okay, we are at least making progress. Would you want to play No Man's Sky sometime? Yeah, I don't see why not. I, I don't own the game. That's probably the only big reason why not. But, <laughs> like, I'd be more than, uh, more than down for it. So, as we have no none of the special artifacts yet, we're not going to play the game too hard. See, you rescue all three of the sisters and they give you a special prize. Yeah, we're not going to play for the end game too, too much. We're just going to have to play as well as we can here. And just try and get as far as we can! In fairness, that run was going absolutely nowhere. And so it was probably very well deserved. Or it's not that it was going nowhere. It just kind of... It all began to go wrong very quickly. And it went wrong in very spectacular ways. So 
a new round, a fresh round, and everything will be able to go just right once again. But yeah, I'd probably be down for some No Man's Sky. I've, I've never played No Man's Sky before. Um, from what I've been led to believe, it is now not the game it once was. Um, I was led to believe that there were a lot of issues with No Man's Sky at launch, which have now been addressed, and the game functions a bit more in the way that it was promised it would, which is certainly good. £40 or 8 if you get Game Pass, but with all the updates they've done, it's worth the money. It's fair enough. On a, on what platform? Because obviously I'd be uh, I'd be playing PC because I don't own any consoles. Oh my God! Come on! Play properly. No Man's Sky is better. It's so much better now than it was. That is good. Right. We need. We're gonna need some legs on this run, I think. And I think our legs come in the form of... Actually, why am I trying to do all this with the shield? We can just use the freeze ray and do it that way. That's much simpler. There we go. I'm on Xbox. Oh, but it is cross-play. Okay. That's what I was going to say, because I am on... I'm only on PC. It would need to be uh, cross-play. But uh, that's good to know that it is. Right. What do we do here? Do some planning. Try and get the best out of this floor as possible. Bear in mind, we've already taken some stupid damage. And need to not take any more. So we can dump the shotgun right there. That's going to be safe there. We'll come back for that in a moment. Your next play is you rescue the cat. Just here, because you need to recover some of the health that you stupidly lost. There you go. Then you recover the idol for some bonus treasure at the end. That's going to be very useful as well. Nice. Toss the idol. Again, that's going to be safe alongside the shotgun. Grab the cat for our bonus health. We're doing fine. We can put the cat safely down there. And we can put the idol safely down there as well. That's where the exit is. We're going to be coming back for that. I see the key, and is this the door to our UJI as well? It is, that's good. So much better than the previous one. Message me when you'll be up for it and we'll do it. Sure thing. Sure thing, I've obviously got nothing going on at the moment. Other than various other streams. So, it's not only, not only am I not able to work, you're also not allowed to go out and see your friends. So... <laughs> Um, my f my uh, housemate is currently away for a month as well, so I'm literally in the flat, on my lonesome, doing nothing. Hey! Oh, this is the end. Oh, it didn't have to be, and it wasn't, but it very nearly could have been. So yeah, I'm uh, relying on Twitch for, for a lot of social interaction. <laughs> All the social interaction I'm going to be getting for the next month is pretty much going to be reserved exclusively to this platform right here. <laughs> he laughs. Perfect. Was that floor good? No. We didn't play it very well at all. But we did make it through to the end. And there is at least something to be said for that. But not much. I really want to look into doing like a load of multiplayer games at some point. It'd be really good. Because obviously we've done like some of the things like that in the past. We've done Marvels on stream, uh, Choice Chamber and all that kind of audience interaction stuff. we got Spelunky Death Roulette as well. Um, but things like, like, I think it would be great if there was a way to set up uh, like worms. Or something like that and have a huge kind of online twitch session playing worms that'd be that'd be pretty good fun i reckon i'm gonna um i'm gonna give yang his turkeys again thank you you are welcome my friend 
As long as we don't bring them to him dead, he should be pretty content to give us his treasure. Oh, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to injure his turkeys by doing that, but they he seems okay with us. That's good. Oh my, this opens up into a vast cavern. Yang, what a huge vault you have. All the better for storing treasure within, I agree. Any extra valuables hidden away down here? Maybe. Oh, it's a shopkeeper's vault. We don't want to go in there. Is there a shop? There's a shop. Good evening, miss. She sells discounted items to us. I'll certainly take the compass. Thank you very much. You've done a good deed for me this day. The compass is always good. But yeah, worm, worms would be great, great fun. I'm rubbish at worms, so it'd be even better for, for you guys. <laughs> but I'd be I'd be up for doing like a like chat chat versus streamer worms session or something like that. Oh we got him! Oh there's two Nice. Does that mean there's a shop right here? There's a shop right here. Now we need to take the power pack. We need to not have the shield anywhere near <gasps> I squashed my shotgun! That's why we don't need the shot the shield anywhere near us. Uh, what's in the box? A cape. Ooh, the cape's probably a better shout than the booster pack. And I think we're done here. Oh, the skeleton came to life. Did I rescue it? I didn't rescue a pet either, did I? Our health, once again, is in a very, very bad position. But we can recover. Just as long as you don't get cursed by an evil witch doctor this time. Ooh, watch out. So I know the uh, I know the multiplayer game that's light lighting up at the moment is like Fall Guys, but I just Fall Guys has got a very short shelf short shelf life for me. Um, when I have played it, it's done its job very very quickly. I've not really been too motivated to keep on playing. So that that's my that's my main concern with Fall Guys is that there's just not much. Whilst there's certainly longevity in it, because people do enjoy that game, like there's not much enjoyment for me in it. So, oh, don't squash it! And so I wouldn't want to really play something that I'm not enjoying, because it would just... I think it would suck to stream, basically. It would suck for me to play, and it would probably suck to watch as well. Rach is back! No more lurking! Decided to upgrade from the audiobook version to the visual novella that this has become. Desperately, desperately need my chinchilla. Need to bring all the health in. I'm going to take all of the uh, all the beetles. Ringo, Paul, John, Lennon, Chris, Stephen, and the others, and all of the others. No one gets left behind. Kind of using that to disguise the fact that I don't 100% know the names of all the Beatles members. Sorry. Sorry. I know that that makes me a huge, huge heathen. But. Eh. Is it really that bad? Maybe. Possibly. And so it's no worse than not knowing. Oh! Oh, well, that. That went wrong very quickly. <laughs> you kind of blink and miss that one. All right, look. Now we've had a couple of practice goes. Now we can have an actual run. We can have one that we will succeed at. We need to have a couple of practices and then be good. Off to soak? No problem. Enjoy. You can now enjoy this stream as an audiobook. And then allow my dulcet tones to... That was a very dangerous jump. 
allow my dulcet tones to soothe and relax as you unwind for the day. Know that all of your troubles don't mean anything anymore. Everything is beautiful and right. No matter what the news says, everything is wonderful. <laughs> Alright, I can't lie anymore. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm a little bit concerned about the ghost, but you know what? This is the first floor. Ow. We can, we can take some risks. Easy. That's how you outsmart the ghost. Anything in here? No, not too fast. Oh, the turkey floor, though. We could actually make something out of this. So if we go in, we can destroy that caveman's campfire that he's using to keep so toasty and warm whilst he sleeps. We can destroy that and take a torch with us, which we can use to cook turkeys. Rather than give them to Yang this time, I think it may be more prudent for us to just lob this torch out of turkey and cook it. Because that gives us an extra bit of health. Which we can promptly lose. And then some. I don't know why I've been... so I've played quite a bit of Spelunky today already. And every single run has been an absolute disaster from start to finish. And I have no idea why I have been so bad at the game today. That's not to say I'm a master. I'm certainly better than the show I've been putting on. I need the cat as well. Let's just do it that way. I think that will give us the cat without killing it. It does, but I will need to spend a rope to get out of here. Alright. It's worth it for the health, because I am clearly so tragic at Spelunky today. Heard of the Pentathlon speedrun? I am not sure that I have. But I also do feel like I have. Oh dear, that didn't work. <laughs> Nor did that. Alright, I'll play this. Seven wins us the grand prize. Eight to twelve wins us money. <gasps> grand prize already! Yeah! Nice! I'm not too interested in the uh, speed, in the uh, ice gun though. Let's just put that there. Oh, the, the, uh, what was it? The roguelike speedrun or the indie game speedrun. I, I think I have heard of that. Um, but yeah, I, I remember hearing something about it, I think. With Isaac and Spelunky. Oh! Oof. I may look into that. We'll see. Maybe that's what we'll do for a stream one day. We'll, we'll have a go. It won't be a speedrun by any means, but we'll complete one run of each, uh, each of them. Uh, Gungeon... Um, what would it be? I mean, the only two that I'm sure that I have off of there are The Binding of Isaac and Spelunky. But, um, yeah, I think it's... Uh, Enter the Gungeon... Uh, might be... Is it Risk of Rain? Maybe? That feels like it could be on there. Um, I'm not sure what else. Maybe we should look it up. I'll have a look after this one. Alright. Finally. Making progress. We're back. Level 1-4. With 4 health, which I think is the most health we've gone into this floor with for the whole stream so far. Goodness sake. It's like, I just, I'm just not allowed anything nice. I'm not allowed to just have my moment in this game today. It's like, ah, oh, finally doing well. Which is admittedly how this game works anyway, but... It's still not fair. I just want a moment to shine, that's all. Just one moment. Make it last forever. Nuclear Throne and Crypt to the Necro Dancer. Necro Dancer. Necro Dancer. 
I feel like Crypt of the Necrodancer is a game that I would be very good at. Because it's a rhythm based game. And if I'm worth my salt as a drummer, a rhythm based game should be great. I should be good at it. Much better than this. What even was that? I know nothing about the last two. Nuclear Throne, I know nothing about. Crypt of the Necrodancer, I know a little bit about. We've listened to a couple of songs from the soundtrack uh, during and before streams. Some of it's available on the uh, on the app that I use for my stream music. So we've we've had a little bit of exposure to it. But um, I feel like again, maybe a bit similar to No Man's Sky. I'm assuming that the Necrodancers had some updates because all indie games do tend to get updates and stuff but uh, I would assume because I think the first videos I watched for it I thought this looks like a cool game it sounds good it looks pretty good but it doesn't look like my sort of thing but I'm assuming that over various wall various potential updates if it has had them that it's become a bit more rounded and a bit more interesting but uh, yeah, it's otherwise a, just a rhythm-based kind of dungeon crawler type game. I can't even be that mad. Everything I'm doing wrong in this game is my own fault. The game is responding in the way it needs to be responding. I am just playing phenomenally badly. I'm determined to at least make it to somewhere interesting today. We made it as far as the Olmec fight. That's good. That's wonderful. Thanks very much. We'll bank that. But there's still so much more to see and do in this game. I'd love to make it a bit further. Oh, no. Oh. Let me up. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. That did. Okay, I've got the... Oh, you... Okay, that's where the Ujit key goes. It goes further down, which is good. I can steal this without repercussion. That's good. Then I've got the ghost pot as well for extra cash. What I do need though is my pet for extra health. For how woeful we have been. What? Oh, the skeleton got me twice. It ain't over till it's over though. Having a crisis with the cupboard. Oh, okay, that's alright. No problem. Oh, there's a secret shop up there as well that I can't get into. Let me out of here. I've had enough of this. I feel my dreams of having a decent run are very, very, well, have very, very quickly slipped away. I'm no longer feeling confident about this run whatsoever. Can I destroy this without? Yes, I can. Give me that. Thank you. Caveman woke up, but if it weren't going to be by me it was going to be by the giant log crashing down to wake up his slumber so I'm not too upset about that okay that doesn't actually need setting off because he's done it for me watch out for the mole got an idol I don't know if you can give the idols to Yang or not but in any case I'm just going to roll onwards oh he's coming and he's a going this one's coming back we got him. 
Please, I just want my cat. I want some health. Make me feel better again. I was ready. I was not ready! I'm still ready. There are so many of these rats everywhere. Leave me alone. Get out of it. That's what I need. Some more of that. Give me the turkey as well. I need a mount. Extra health and extra jump. Give me some of that. Cat licks the turkey. Alright, here we are again. 1-4. Let's do this with a little bit more success. Shall we? Pop down a bomb. Whoa! That was close, but we managed it. A web gun? I don't care about a web gun. Anything else? Nothing over this way. Oh, my turkey! Oh. No. <sighs> Alright. Quill shank, off you go. We're gonna go to the volcano. We just are. I've had no luck with the... the jungle whatsoever. So we're gonna go to the volcano instead. And hope for the best. Crisis averted. Good. I'm glad the cupboard door is no longer giving you any bother. <laughs> oh, there's a arrow trap there. Oh, no. Oh, this is probably the end, unless there was a pebble I ran for. There is a pebble. Thanks for that. This is not good. I'm going into the volcano with one health. We're going to get ended easily. One of the screws fell off the hinge, so I had to work out fast so it would have broken off. Oof. DIY champion. Oh dear me, I don't like this. Maybe we should have gone to the vo to the jungle. There is a Kali altar though. If we can find our pet, then we can sacrifice them. Oh, there is a caveman right there, though. We can sacrifice him. Get the ball rolling. Nice. There's a there's a pair of beady eyes looking at me from the lava. Oh, there he is. There is. Oh, there's a bat! <sighs> okay. The lava, the lava lizard just throws up lava into the air. Send him on the way. Not sure if that's quite the way I wanted to send him, but it did what it had to do. He's off and running. Oh, that's going to... Dump out all the lava. I bet that's just made things infinitely more difficult for us lower down. It's always the way. Hey, there's some bombs in the wall there. Uh, yes, it does seem to have made things ever so slightly tricky for us. However, I'm going to go for a bomb bag and I'm going to bomb through the floor just here. And then hopefully that'll create some kind of positivity for us. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. We're not dead. Somehow. My pet can wait there. And this should give us access to the key. There it is. Which will allow us to rescue Van Helsing. Which we will need to take out Dracula. At some point. There he is. Van Helsing, thank you very much. Gives us a diamond for our trouble as well. Onwards and forwards. I need to go and get my mount back. This will be useful. Oh, and the, the pet's alive! Where's the exit to this floor? The other way. Okay. 
you're coming with me. I should probably stay over this side to try and spawn in the ghost on this side. Okay. That should have taken care of that, which means that we should have a little bit more time bought for us to get to the exit. There it is. Whew, we did it. I did not anticipate that, but we did. We managed it. Now, our rock dog can double jump and it also shoots fire. So if there are any turkeys present, that's going to do us a great service. Ah, the pets over there. I'm not too interested in the uh, in the challenge this time around. Ah, the shop though. I might be interested in that. I'll take some paste and some ropes. We will need those. Oh, there's some ropes there too. Can I... Okay, I can't burn the robot. Nor can I burn the firebug. That's probably to be expected. Send him on his way. He hasn't made anything more interesting for us, though. And then we're at the bottom of the floor already. That felt like it took a lot less time than the other one. Not necessarily complaining about that, but... It is what it is. Haven't come across... Ah, here it is. The drill. This is what gets us down to Vlad. Let's just turn that on. Didn't anger Carly. We also have not angered a shopkeeper as well, which is good. Gonna keep my dog safe. We haven't even crashed through lava. That is phenomenally good. It's a nice, safe journey down. That's a clip, if ever there was one. Ah, <sighs> dang it. Well, I am done for today. <laughs> I am done for today. We beat out Layers of Fear, which I'm very, very happy with. And we got beaten out by Spelunky, which I am not very happy with. But never mind. <laughs> never mind, indeed. It's the way it goes sometimes. Let's... Let's switch this off. We don't need Spelunky making noise anymore. <laughs> um, right, well, that's going to do it for the evening. I am I am ready for... I'm not ready for bed, but I'm a bit sleepy. Uh, anyway, oh my goodness me, there are so many people. So many people. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... As I said, I can't work at the moment, so there's a, there's a lot of stuff. Way We got another three bits in cheer. Thank you so very much. And a, and a YouTube promo as well. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, so as I said, I can't really work for the time being, uh, which means that I'm going to be trying to do this a lot more frequently. Um, I have got a planned schedule on the uh, schedule section of the stream page. So tomorrow is Saturday, which will be part three of Blood Omen 2. And a bit more Spelunky on Sunday. I've got Crash next Wednesday and Theme Hospital on Thursday, because why not? Let's just, let's just throw that out there. Everything's starting at 7 o'clock. Maybe some bonus streams going on as well and that kind of thing. I would also, during this time while I have nothing to do, love to do like a marathon, like a 12-hour marathon or something like that. But um, that's still in the works. There's nothing certain going on for that yet. Um, but never mind. Never mind. That's it. Sometimes... Oh, should I, should I maybe make that command a plural? Maybe that'd be, maybe that'd be better. Maybe I should make that one a plural. Uh, but yeah, anyway, there's plenty of other stuff going on throughout the week. Um, we'll just have to see. We will just have to see. Other than that, though, okay, I'll do that. I need to sit down with Nightbot, actually, and have a chat and get some other stuff figured out. So I might do that. 
thank you everybody for dropping in and saying hello and watching and following uh, all the bit drops as well very very appreciative for that thank you so very much keeps things moving in this time when I'm not doing a lot of moving <laughs> um, try not to go too crazy by yourself yeah I will do my very best all work and no play make Homer go something 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 <laughs> and all that never mind yeah that's uh, that's it thank you so much everybody for hanging out it will be very much needed over the next month uh, I'll see you all another time Good evening, good night, bye-bye. Press the button now.